Hello, in this video we're going to look at the exponential family of distribution, specifically the exponential distribution. And this is a follow-up from a video I did finding the mean and the variance generically from any funny exponential family. And we showed that if you could put it in one of these two forms, it's considered part of the exponential family. But it's this second form, which we call the canonical form, that helps us out when we're finding the mean and the variance or any moment from our sufficient statistic, of our sufficient statistic. So let's see how the exponential distribution fits into this. So this is how we define the exponential distribution where uh, lambda is positive, x is greater or equal to zero. And this lambda here, we take e to the log of lambda, and of course then that gets us lambda back, but then we can uh, combine the exponents of the e part and we get it into this fashion. Now, now we're actually finished because this is a function of our parameter and it's our data, a function of data which is just x times a function of our parameter times a function of x which is 1 and that's what we, that's what we show here. So this a of lambda is called the log partition and this is a sufficient statistic, which we won't talk about in this video. Now, to put it in the uh, canonical form, instead of calling it minus uh, lambda, we just call it eta. So this is the exponential form, where eta is just log, you know, minus lambda. But then our log partition here, a of uh, eta has to be in terms of, of just eta, and, that, and it's this. And you can kind of see that if we were to stick in eta, which is minus lambda, we'd just get, you know, minus a minus is lambda, minus log lambda, which we'd get our original log partition back. But having it in this form, of course, makes it easier for finding moments of our statistic. So let's do that. Let's look at the mean of our sufficient statistic and I write it, I say it and emphasize like that because the function of our data in this case is just x, but it's not always that case. So really I'm trying to emphasize it's the mean of our sufficient statistic, which is the, the derivative of our log partition with respect to eta. We said our log partition was this. Now to take the derivative of this, you know, the minus is a constant, so it's 1 over minus lambda times the derivative inside, which is minus 1. Well, the minus 1, you know, or they cancel, leaving just minus 1 over eta. Now we stick in the value for eta, which is minus lambda, and the negatives cancel, we get 1 over lambda, which we know to be the mean of an exponential distribution. Now, the variance of our sufficient statistic, so in this case, the variance of x, is the second derivative of our log partition with respect to eta. And again, our log partition's here. Now, we took the derivative the, once, and we got this value. So we're going to just plug that in and take the derivative of it. And then we end up with eta to the minus 2. Or you could be 1 over eta squared. Now we put in what we know for eta, which is minus lambda, and then we uh, square it, and we get 1 over lambda squared, which we know to be the variance of our exponential distribution. Well, that's all I have for today. Hope you enjoyed it. I did. Please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.